How's it going, guys? MBG here. We are back for more Skyrim. And I'm trying to remember all these uh, all these shrines without looking at the book, the uh, Skyrim Bible official guide. Got like what 15 quests, so it's a lot to remember. And it's not just like Oblivion where you just go to the shrine. You have to. Sometimes you have to do like other things like. Uh, what was it? Malog Ball, for example. You have to go to the, you know, that abandoned house. So, you don't have to just go to the shrine. It's not that easy. What are you right. looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No. Apparently, I'm Even keeping the mace with me. So it would seem. There's seven points of stamina damage and magic of damage targets. Blah, 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 blah. Doing 11 more points of damage base. Alright, oh, we'll play with it for a little bit, I guess. Unless, do I have a hotkey? Nope. Oh, don't care. Um, J, no, not J. Let's do eh, M. Alright. I don't know which one I want to do. We have the Azura Shrine. We have uh, Marin's uh, Dagon. And we also have Pirate... Those are the ones that are I'm remembering now. Those are the ones that are ringing bells. Parate is over here. Parite, however you pronounce it. And then Malog Ball. There's his shrine. Or Mayron's Dagon. There's his shrine, but you have to go to Dawnstar. And the other one would be Azura Shrine, which I believe is over here. We'll do the Azura Shrine first. Azura Star. I don't even remember what can like this quest consists of. It's been too long. Of course, it's night time. Super dark. All right, six in the morning. Let's try it. Hopefully, it all buffs out. The shrine. Okay, frame drops. Infamous Skyrim and his goddamn frame drops. Now, if we stood there and we looked over here, I'm pretty sure we saw it. What, Cicero? Get out of my face. I think what we want to do is cut up the middle. I know you can see it from the winter hold. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we can anyways. Yeah, there it is. It is south. It's like right over here. Is there any way to reach it? Hmm. Fast travel there, go up here, and okay, we do that. Doesn't say it's cleared, so I'm sure we're gonna see enemies outside. God damn frame drops, Jesus Christ. That is a crazy. Why are you yelling help? Oh shit, what's happening? Frame drops for what's happening. Where are you, a hunter? I'm getting mauled by a saber cat. Not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, we should make a right here, maybe. Who's this guy? Need something. Now I'm good. Yeah, we want to go over here. Okay. Safe travel. This is where the Azura Shrine should be. So we got an enemy over here. Ouch. It's your fire, assholes. This isn't chivalry. Okay. What the fuck? The 
totally contradicting all my attacks. You're throwing ice spikes at him in the freaking icy area. <laughs> like, all right. Am I there yet? Here she is, Azura. That is a huge statue. I haven't seen a skeever in a while. They're never one hit kills, are they? They have to be a two hit kill. Just to piss me off. Well, looks like we're here. I don't remember this quest at all. Let's see what we got. We are children of the twilight. Beings, Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. <laughs> Azura has given me the gift of foresight. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic. I oh, I think I remember this question now. Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Yeah, I think I remember this quest now. Okay, maybe not. I'm the Elven Mage. I thought I did for a sec, but nope. Definitely not. Hmm. My job is to serve the Yarl. Wait, no, I think it was actually in the... In the inn across the street. I could be wrong, though. I don't really know anyone. What's your business here in Winterhold? Stay clear of that collar. Nothing but foul deeds behind those walls. Hi. Okay, you don't know. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug control. It's gotta be. I'm trying to remember. I could have sworn it was in this inn. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. My days at the college are long behind me. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Yarrow? We agreed there would be no more questions. It's Azura. Azura? Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about soul gems? Uh... They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail. Except for one. Azura's Star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying. Disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside. Become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illin Alta's Deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. He's got a point. <laughs> but Until next time. So I can just keep it for myself, right? Be careful. Anyways. What happened to him doesn't affect me. I just want the damn star. Ah, I am remembering correctly. I knew that it was over here. Down by Falkreath. Down by where we started the game. Of course, it's nighttime. Gotta love it. All right, let's try this.
Yeah, I downloaded a mod. It's a player home. It's a uh, very mediocre. Average. Of course, the outside is cool. That's the only thing that's cool about it, though. The inside's pretty meh. I have pretty high standards when it comes to player home mods, and uh, that doesn't impress me at all. It adds nothing. Compared to some of the Oblivion player homes. Oh my fuck. Okay, this place is sunken. How the hell do we get in this place? There we go. Now, I'm no whatever ologist, but wouldn't this place be flooded with water if it's underwater? It's made out of stone and, like, wood, so... I'd think water would just see through, but apparently it's hollowed out. So water is leaking in. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, that looks cool. Just the lighting and everything. Cool, cool. Hello? Is it Skelly? Oh, this is a necromancer. Fucking Lydia. 